and that is going to be 94 cooking. We only have five levels left on this grind. Cooking is a very fast skill to train. Very relaxing as well. And they've just added the update where you can left click the fire. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about this. I mean, yes, it's useful for me right now. But like, I imagine after this, it's just going to get really annoying. But hey, oh, can't really complain. People want it. It goes in the game, right? So I'm going to finish off these fish. And then we're going to take a quit, quit, quick, quick hit stop. And we're going to do some essence of things to get some medium clues. So let's finish up the last 350 odd fish and we'll get moving. Okay, so we're going to be finishing up the last of the bass now. Let's go ahead and sell these to Martin at Fwait. And we've got 77.8k from that. I am going to take a short break uh, from doing cooking. And we are going to go ahead and do some Puro Puro. We're going to catch ourselves some Essence Implings and maybe do some Medium Clues in the meantime. Let's go. So update on the previous clip. Um, these guys spawn incredibly slow. Um, like four or five times the rate of uh, Eclectic Implings. So clues pretty much aren't really viable. But we did just get one. Speak to Hazelmere. I can do this. I really don't like the idea of doing this. But content is content, right? I'm going to get food. Because going to this place is very dangerous. I am deaf storage. This is probably a stupid idea. But just for fun. We're going to do it. Alright. There goes nothing. I really don't like the idea of doing this. I do have some chocolate cakes on me though. So we should hopefully survive. Please do not kill me. And we're safe. Rest in peace, Clue. And this is why I juggle them. But because the Essence Implings have a 1 in 50 chance of dropping them, and it taking forever to get one, I wasn't going to juggle this. But yeah, goodbye, Clue Scroll. Attempting another Clue with one step, because Implings were mean to me. And I don't have the tools that I thought I had. I can't get molds, can I? That's lame. I'm going to go get myself a Slayer Ring, because this guy is Brimsdale. And the best way to get there is a Slayer Ring. Oh, why can I get a Slayer Ring? I guess I'm Remington. I'm gonna go Remington. Uh, get a ring mold. That's what I meant. Uh, make Slayer Ring. I'm gonna take this one clue. I'm probably gonna fail it to be honest, but couldn't get any more. So onwards. Another very dangerous step. Uh, we need to go to Type One Eye. Oh, how I love risking everything on this account for very, very, very stupid reasons. I do have some chocolate cakes. I'm going to grab myself an anti-poison, but this still terrifies me. Right, this is step four. Please. Please be the reward. I don't want to get potentially blocked. We could have the reward right here. Uh, I know this answer already. It's 125. Isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, it's the cube. Oh, it's five. It's the other way around. Sorry. My bad. There you go. Please, reward. Cosket! Let's go! We managed to do it with just one clue. That's insane. insane. Right. Casket number... I have no idea. Fair. Absolutely nothing new. Nothing useful. Oh, the Nord runes are okay. I'm uh, collecting these up to charge the ring, but I don't know if I'm actually going to keep them. Eh. It's okay. Alright, that's another two clues we have obtained. We are currently on 910 essence. I am going for 2,000. I do don't know if I've mentioned that in this video yet. Uh, we're going to go for 2,000 Essence. I think that should be a reasonable amount before we take on the minigame, which is coming out next week. I believe the minigame will be out... Uh, no, the minigame will definitely be out by the time I release this episode. I just realised it's pre-recorded, so yeah. The um, minigame would have been already, uh, already been out by the time you watch this. Um, so the, probably in this episode. I'm trying to juggle these two clues. One of them is in Remington, and the other one is in... I'm a lot. Uh, it's in the Sinclair Mansion, I believe. Uh, Donovan. I think that was the one it was. Um, so I'm probably going to do the one in Remington first, as it's like really easy to get to with the Arty Cloak, and I can just take the boat across. Um, and I'll probably go and do the Sears one or Camelot or whatever. Um, probably when I've run out of steps in the other one, or if it's really difficult. Hey, we got ourselves another medium casket. Uh, I do still have a clue on the floor. Uh, this is the clue from before that I said uh, I was going to do last. However, the other clue turned out to end up to be McGrubber's Woods, which means I had to go past here anyway. 
but decided I might as well do this clue next. Uh, this does mean that I do have a clue on the floor and a casket in my inventory. Which means I still have another clue to juggle to get the next clue, which is always nice. Um, look, we can go grab that clue, and then we'll open up this casket and see what we get on medium number 26, I think it is. And medium clue number 26. No uniques. Fair enough. Alright, so I was hunting down some clues, and I got lucky enough to uh, have a couple of Dragon Implings sneak past me. Um, so I did catch them. Just thought I'd quickly open these two. We're doing it on stream as well. So we get from these. There's nothing I really need from them. Honestly, I don't think there's anything I need from them at all, but we'll open them anyway. First one is Snapdragon Seeds. Actually kind of useful. And Dragonstone Bolts. Absolutely not useful. But if I add these to the death storage, that's pretty nice. That's some more seeds that we can use. So cool. Well, that's the casket. Let's quickly go grab our other clue, which again is still on the floor. Yoink. And we can open casket number 27, I think? Medium? And no uniques. That's pretty pants. Anyway, let's go get some more. Okay, so this should be the final step of this clue, given it is step five, and it is the most amount of steps you can have, and that should be the casket. There we go. We do have another clue here, so I'm just going to quickly pick that up so it doesn't despawn. And let's open medium casket number 28, I think. Unique penguin mask! Cool! Please tell me there's not some sort of requirement to wear this like there was with a cabbage shield. Og. I am now a penguin. No longer a frog. Confirmed. And there goes the mask into the house. Penguin mask. Thankfully, this doesn't reset every week. I guess that's a reference to Penguin Hide and Seek, which we don't have. Anyway, let's go get another clue. Free step casket. That's uh, pretty convenient, considering I had to just drop the last clue. Um, anyway, this is casket number 29, I think, or 28. I really lose track. Anyway, medium casket. Ooh, pink headband. What might if I do? That's pretty cool. Gonna add that to the house. And pink headband. Into the house. That's 10 out of 65 of medium clue rewards. Back to Puro Puro. And casket. There we go. Uh, this is the medium clue number 20 something. I love how I say medium clue number 20 something and it was number 30. I still couldn't get it right. And I had a 10 number chance. I know what I meant. That's a terrible clue. That's 30 clues done. Cool. So, as you guys may well know, I have been hunting these guys for a good while now, collecting up on Pure Essence. For the new minigame that is coming out fairly soon, uh, this episode will be going out after the minigame is live, so you guys probably understand where this is going very quickly. However, earlier on today, I logged into Discord, and I was notified of this. Hey, just letting you all know that our playtesting over the last few weeks resulted in a very recent change, so that you don't have to use your own Pure Essence to play Guardians of the Rift. I know some people like that mechanic, and we did too, but in theory, in reality, it just made the gameplay feel clunky and not really all that fun. Anyway, even though we're covering it in next week's news post, I just thought I should let you know since we finalised that decision. Apologies to anyone who grinded out Pure Essence in preparation. Like me. So, thanks for that, Jagex. Thanks for telling me now. This is now useless. And that is what it is. Uh, like I said, this is going to be uploaded quite uh, like in two weeks or something, so you guys are going to know exactly where I'm coming from when I say this. But ah, uh, well, I guess all that's left now is to go back to cooking. Oh well, at least I got some clues done. So I am done with implants now, but I decided that since seeing as I had this clue, I was going to try and do it. Uh, we need to speak to Donovan, who is in here. This is potentially the finish, maybe. Nope, there's another clue. Can we do it? We cannot. That is kind of upsetting. Oh, well, we'll drop that. But we still do have a decent amount of stuff that we managed to get from it. I think we've got like five clues or something in this episode. That was quite nice. Uh, I am now going to... Make my way over to the player own house so I can sort out my inventory. And then I need to re, re death storage so I can store these and these in the death storage and these, of course. Actually, I'm going to put the Laura's in there as well. Um, 
basically just going to sort out my inventory so I can go back to cooking and we can work our way all the way up to 99. And we are back to cooking. Don't worry about the pet boat, by the way, guys. Uh, I have not lost it. It is in the house. I've just left it there for the time being because it kept getting in the way. Still had the pet. Carrying on with cooking. Starting at 94. Five levels to go. Coming in with another cooking level. That is 95 cooking. Four more levels, and then we're done. Oh, an announcement in the clan. Cool. Another cooking level at 96. Three more to go. Another cooking level coming in. 97 cooking. Two more levels until 99. Okay, this is going to be the last of the swordfish being used. And we are at 11.6 million XP in cooking, which now means that we need to uh, quickly sell this off to Martin Foyt and teleport over to the farming guild. I'm going to go to our dev storage and we're going to grab the sharks and we'll be able to finish 99 cooking with these. Uh, let's see how many we've got in here. I think I need about 6,000 to finish 99. Obviously, I'm going to burn some. We have 14,000, so uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, I was cooking in the roast den, but I think I'm going to move to Hosidius now. Uh, because the previous fish that I was cooking, I couldn't burn. But sharks, I can burn. So, definitely need that assistance with the Hosidius range to reduce the chance of burning. So... Let's head over to Zoic Glade, I think that's closer. And we'll get started on cooking sharks at Hosidius. Unfortunately, I will no longer be getting coins, and I'm going to be stuck with this cash stack on me unless I death storage again, which is a waste of time. Um, so I'm going to be doing 26 in inventory instead of 27, and also won't be getting any more money. Oh well, uh, it is time to continue on for 99 cooking. Let's go. And here we have coming in is level 98. Cooking. We have one more level until 99. I managed to get it just before the update. We've got 17 minutes, and then they are releasing Guardians of the Rift, which is the new runecrafting minigame. And I will be taking part in that. I'm hopefully going to be trying to get 99 cooking um, before about 5 o'clock today, uh, which I will then be doing the minigame on stream. So that's going to be fun. I have put a post out about it. Um, this is going to be like two weeks after I've even done this because it's being pre-recorded. So apologies for that. But if you did see the stream, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let's get on with more cooking. Honestly, don't burn these anywhere near as much as I expected to. The only downside from cooking here is that I don't get any money and I end up dropping all the sharks on the floor, which kind of sucks. But I don't think it really gave me all that much GP anyway. Maybe, I don't know, like 100k or something in total. But honestly, this is way faster in terms of XP. Okay, so the last clip, um, I think was me maybe getting the cooking level, I don't know. Um, the, the update today, as you guys may well know, um, lasted for about four hours, so I've not been able to play. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't manage to get 99 cooking, I'm having, having to postpone that to tomorrow, which kind of sucks, and that's mainly because I want to do the new runecrafting stuff on stream today, and I'm streaming right this second. So it's really awkward me making the recording. But we are over here in Alcarid. Uh, we've got a pickaxe and a chisel, which I think are the only things I need. Um, I don't want to mess around too much with death storage, because I'd like to be able to go to cooking very easily after this. Naturally, I didn't finish 99, so it's a bit inconvenient. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started with this stuff. Uh, quest. I'm going to do everything blind, the way I like to do it. So well, let's get into it. The spell needed to trace the amulet would only work properly from inside the abyss. I can't go in the abyss. I can't. It will kill me. I'll die instantly. I can talk to the guy, but I can't go in the abyss. Alright, well, we're going to make a quick detour. We're going to go get ourselves a chronicle. Alright, give me chronicle. Zoom. I'll bust more pages. Why not? Wait, is it not? Buy loads, whatever. I got money on me. Cool. So we've got to go to the Zami Wizard. Could we go to the one in Varok? Or do we have to go to the Wilderness one? Because he won't teleport you to the Abyss unless you go to him in the Wilderness. I imagine they're not going to make us go into the Wilderness, right? And I don't really want to take you there as a hardcore. And a level 3. Yeah. I'll check the, the Varok one first. I mean, we could die to the mugger that's down there. That's possible. Don't forget, everything's dangerous to us. Mugger, run! Uh, I need your help with an amulet. A 
bucket of water and a strong cup of tea. Well, you know us English people. <laughs> ah, nothing like a nice cup of tea. Wait, is he going to teleport me to the abyss? He's not going to teleport me in the abyss, right? He's going to teleport me to the middle. I think he teleports me to the middle where the guy's charging the orb, and that's it. Okay, yeah, that panicked me. He's <laughs> using NPC contact. <laughs> That's literally what he says. That's so funny. Oh, interesting. Cool. Work out which order it goes in. Okay, right. I got the music track as well, I just realised. Because obviously I can never do this before. Oh, lag. Is this just brute force, or is there some sort of... Strangely? Strangely? Okay, so it is sort of brute forcing then. Okay, so it's also in a random order. Got it. I swear to God, if Laura's not after death, I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, for God's sake! I'm <laughs> so scammed. There we go. You just brute force it. Right, so... I guess we leave now? We can't get back here, so... I'm just going to make sure that we don't have any other reason to be here. I was just a bit nervous that, you know... We were going to do this, and then it'd be like... Oh, you still need to do this. I'd be like, what? Could have gone for the fire order. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I should have done that as well. <laughs> oh. Sweet. Yeet. I was going to get myself there, but I guess that works. Oh, ribbit indeed. Let's go see the head wizard. Who's not the head wizard, but might be the head wizard. Uh, I need to help with an incantation. Okay, so let's go speak to Trayvon. Wait, who the heck is this? What's an escape crystal? Oh, this isn't an apprentice. Oh. Is it just Rick? What the heck is an escape crystal? I'm sorry, I'm just curious. What the heck is it? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. This isn't even part of the quest. Water is six and mind is eight, so it's basically algebra. Okay. Can you give me what is less than two body and more than two earth? What? I'm guessing I need information from all of them, right? Earth is five and air is three. Free fire. Do I keep a scroll for this, or do I just have to keep talking to them about it? <clears throat> okay, so I, I'd have to go through the dialogue again. Cool. We get all the information and then I'll work it out. What's three, nine, greater than nine, so it's either 10, 11, or. It's 10 or 11. It's either 10 or 11, that's the only information you get. Where do I get the answer to? No, nope. okay, it's 11 then. We'll just fluff this. Yeah. The information you get only lets you know it's either 10 or 11. You know, it's more than 9, less than 12, so... Also, they don't... They, they didn't have the information for this. I mean, I guess they could have just brute forced it as well, but yeah. No. Oh, wait, where did Purston get it? What the heck? <laughs> I just walked through the door. Let's do this. Ooh, a portal. Dive into it. That was a good idea. Let's go. And it's Rune Span. Woo! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Pretty. Deep below the sea, just south of Mauritania. Interesting. I love how my character talks like I've been in the abyss more than once. I mean, I literally unlocked the abyss music track today. I've never been in it in this account. Look at the markings. Ooh. I have disappeared. Stone of Jazz? What? Stone of Jazz isn't in this game? <laughs> well then. That just happened. Boom. Wait, have I got to play the minigame now?
you, the cell next to you. Hang on. Let me try this again. By placing the cell in the tile next to me. The tile next to you. There isn't a tile next to you. There's a tile under you. But you didn't say under you. You said next to you. I'm confused. Where am I putting this? I could try it on this tile? Right, so it should say under them. Give me that craft next to me. Imagine if it gave me combat XP. It goes some magic XP. No! There's no way this gives this amount of runecraft XP normally. That's loads. And that is quest completed! We now have access to the minigame. Which seems pretty cool. From what the quest shows, anyway. I don't think I need this bucket anymore, honestly. Uh, I'm going to have a little look at this minigame and see how it is. Uh, I do want to get the ring. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to get from this, but the ring is a big one for me. So, well, let's try it out.